Hello, welcome to learning the B flat scale. I'm now going to demonstrate how it sounds like. So here we go. That's what B flat scale sounds like. B flat scale is mostly used in most of your band pieces. So, yeah. B flat scale is just an easy scale you can use to use for warm up or just practicing your main notes that you use in band in general. Uh, I know that when I um, am when I'm starting my practice for flute, I always start with a warm up which is B flat scale. So, I'm going to show you how to play B flat scale. It's the main scale you're going to learn later on. So, I'm going to teach it to you. So, we're going to start with the obviously first note that's said in the name, B flat. So here's B flat, this is what it looks like. Your pointer finger should be here, your thumb should be on this key, your uh, pointer finger of your right hand should be here, and your pinky should be here. And you're going to play B flat. Now we're going to play C, which you're just gonna get rid of your pointer finger and you're going to get rid of your thumb. So that is C. Now we're going to play D, which you're going to put your thumb back on. You're going to put your middle finger of your right hand, uh, left hand here, your ring finger of your left hand here, your uh, pointer finger of your right hand here, your middle finger of your right hand here, and your ring finger of your right hand here, and you're going to play D. Now, we're going to play E flat, which all you're going to do is add an extra key, which is your pinky key, and that's what E flat looks like. And your thumb should be still on there. And now we're going to play F, which you're just going to put your pointer finger there, your middle finger there, your ring finger there of your left hand. Then your right hand, you're going to put your uh, point your finger there and your pinky finger and that's what F looks like. Your thumb should be still back on that key. And now we're going to play G. You're going to get rid of your pointer finger and that is how G is played. And now we're going to play A. That's what A looks like. You're just going to get rid of the ring finger of the left hand, and that's what A looks like. Your pinky finger should be there, and your thumb should be still on the thumb key. And then we're going to play B flat again, which all you know is that it's your pointer finger, your thumb, your pointer finger on your right hand, and your pinky. Now, you're probably wondering why when you're getting a uh, higher, some of the notes sound low. It's because you're not blowing fast enough air. Don't, if you're not blowing fast enough air, the notes won't come out as right as you want. So higher the notes, you want to blow more faster air. The lower the notes, you want to blow slower air. So then it gives time for the sound to come out. And when you're playing higher notes, you want to play faster air. When you're playing lower notes, you want to play, <laughs> uh, I was going to say lower air, slower air. So, slower air for lower notes, uh, faster air for higher notes. So, for example, B. All you want to do is blow faster air. For example, A can sound really low too. Also G. All you want to do when you're getting higher in the scale, you want to uh, <laughs> do, you want to blow faster air, faster moving air, so then the notes can come out as vibrant and beautiful. So yeah, now 
we're going to play it back down because if you want to practice the skill and get really good at it you should play it all the way from you should be ascending and you should be descending so you really know the notes so let's play it all the way back down so i'm going to walk you through it so here's b again a G F E flat D Oh C No thumb And then B. So that's how you play the B flat scale. Now, if you want to, I'm going to do B flat scale on quarter notes, and you can just play along. And I'm going to play it descending, I mean ascending, then descending. So I'll be playing it right now. how you play B flat scale. I hope this video was help you, helpful to you and I hope you like all the other videos I've shown in my slideshow to you as well. I hope this was helpful for you. So bye!